Hi, this is Jamie June and I'm at Flawless Beauty Bar with Sequoia, the founder. And we're so excited to show you something that is here specifically at Flawless, which is Air brush makeup. And so tell us a little bit about that. Okay, Airbrush Foundation originally um, kind of jumped onto the scene when everything went high def. So when, uh, when, when they started to have high definition television, people could see everything, including brush strokes from putting on foundation and makeup. So um, yeah, it came from, the one that we used by Temp2 came from putting on temporary tattoos and detailing motorcycles. So it's super, super detailed and specific and it goes on just pristine. So of course, what do girls do? They find a way to use it on their face, Definitely. put on makeup. And um, so yeah, there's no brush strokes. It's actually, most of our clients find it really refreshing because it's just kind of air. It doesn't feel like heavy makeup on their skin, although it covers completely. So it does, does it make it because it's air and not powdery? Does it show more lines or does it not? It doesn't. It's not ideal for underneath the eyes, so we use traditional product makeup products for okay. that. But it goes on completely matte and you can do a light amount of coverage. A lot of my brides just want a light dusting of it. Or you can do heavy um, makeup that's perfect for TV photo shoots up close, okay. kind of um, kind of high depth stuff. So, so this is see. more for events, this is for weddings, this is if you're going to be on the red carpet, this is when you would use airbrush, you wouldn't use it every single day, or I would mean, you? some people do, and okay. you could certainly, I don't think it's necessary. Okay. You know, I think it's for special events, and the beauty of it is it lasts for like 12 hours. We do brides at eight in the morning, their weddings are at six, they're going till midnight. It lasts perfectly. And even when you dance, even when you're hot on camera, it won't come off? Doesn't move. Lights, working out, sweating, all that stays perfectly. Oh, yeah, you can dance the night good away. Good for the gym. <laughs> so how much would this cost if someone came in and wanted an airbrush makeup done for an event? Well, a full makeup application is 65 mm -hmm. at Flawless, depending on the makeup artist that you choose. Um, but if you just wanted to try out the foundation, we do do face only, so like a single feature. And that's just 25. Okay. Yeah, so they could try it out, see how they liked it. I mean, they'll fall in love with it. And if you're just, if you're getting your face already done, I mean, who doesn't want their eyes glammed up too? Yeah, and definitely, definitely. Well, I have absolutely nothing on my face right now. So she is gonna make me beautiful, especially for the camera. I know, you know, having powder and little blotchy spots is not good. So this will be great <laughs> for it, right? Yes, we're gonna make you more beautiful. Oh. All right. Beautiful. Okay, let's do it. Okay, I start everything with a primer. Um, I think it's necessary for everybody and with any kind of makeup. So a silicone based primer will even out the skin, fill in any lines or pores, and help the makeup stay consistently up throughout the whole face. So I'm just going to put a dab of that on you now. So the airbrush is only on the face? Well. Actually, you can use it for everything. You can use it for contouring and highlighting and eyeshadows. That ends up being a little bit um, less efficient because mm -hmm. you have to clean out any colors. So oh, each okay. time, you know, if you're doing blush and then you want to go to contour or you want to go to eyeshadow, you got to clean the brush out, the airbrush gun out each time. So it's not really a very efficient way to use it for that. But if you are doing kind of an avant-garde look, like runway or anything crazy, Halloween, that's oh, amazing for that. So you so, put it in there. Yep, it goes in here. This is the airbrush gun. And um, I just am kind of kind of mix colors. That's the other beauty of it. I don't feel like anybody has ever one foundation color. So I kind of mix it up. And do you test it on my skin or do you just notice as a professional, do you see what color my skin is? Well, I mean, I do test it out, but I, yeah, I've done it long enough that I can kind of guess okay. the colors that are needed. Um, you know, depending on what I've um, noticed in your skin already, you know, whether it's a pink undertone or... So then um, I mix it up a little bit. I gotta turn it on. So we'll mix the solution. It's called back bubbling. Okay. Real technical term. Yes. <laughs> bubbles. Everyone loves bubbles. Right? Like blowing in, a, in your milk in a straw when you were a kid. <laughs> Fun. Okay, so now I'm just gonna test this color out. So I kind of start on the side here. It's gonna kind of feel like air on your skin. You don't need to hold your breath or anything. Is it? Is it on my skin right now? Yeah, it's coming out. It just feels like cold air. Yeah. It feels really nice, actually. It's, kind of, it's usually refreshing for people, especially if they're stressed getting ready for an event and kind of like in a hurry or overwhelmed. It's, yeah, it's kind of relaxing. And it's great you went down my neck because I can't stand it when makeup is only put to the face and not the neck. Oh, gosh. Yeah, completely. You don't want to have a line. Uh -huh. 
And for anybody with imperfections on their decollete or chest, mm -hmm. it can cover those nicely too. So all I'm wearing is the airbrush foundation and a little bit of lip gloss. That's all that's on my face and it literally looks flawless. Any little blemish I had or scar on my face, I, I can't see and I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but I mean, in person, I really could not. It looks like my skin is literally flawless.